Greetings again everyone. Today we have Tiny Q number 12 of the Pro Series. Uh, the Pros have metal bases and you can steer the front wheels. So that's the main differences between that and the regular Uno series. The Unos can't steer in the plastic bases. So number 12 is the Isuzu N series from 1993 with the rear end of a construction truck. So let's take a look see. I gotta say, you know, I think uh, this brand is better than Choro Q. Choro Q is the standard because they invented super deformed cars like 40 years ago. But uh, these guys are just better because they have much better uh, headlight details. And the mirrors are rubbery. Uh, a lot of Choro Qs have no mirrors at all. So that's why I like this brand. I only wish they made more castings. That's the only downfall. They don't have too many actual castings. Okay, so this case is like a Lego thing. You can stack them up, stagger them, whatever. And then uh, this is a pop-off base. So flip it up. It just got those plastic teeth holding it down. And you can move, you know, you can position it the other way in that case if you wanted to. In this case, we have the uh, accessories of some barriers, some plastic barriers. So let's take these out. These are molded plastic, it seems. And I would have to assume they can be uh, snapped together. Unfortunately, the way I opened that wasn't the greatest idea. Alright, let's see. Well, you know, there's no like uh, teeth or anything like that. There's no indexing, but just friction fit alone. And you can actually bend them a little bit. These are actually pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if like if Tiny Q actually sold a set of these, like say 10, 20, if people would buy them because these just look like 164 scale barriers, nothing to do with cartoons. So very cool. All right. So here we have a 93 Isuzu N series, also known as the Elf. And so that is printed on the uh, windshield or underneath the windshield of this model as well. Uh, it looks like this grill is a little bit different. This one has two slots. This one only has one. Uh, but I did look up, you know, my search says 93 and elf. But maybe in different countries they had different front ends, you know, different different grills. Or maybe there was a facelifted version. I'm not sure. All right. Well, anyways, it doesn't bother me so much. I'm not looking for 100% accuracy in something that's designed as a cartoon. So again, the rubbery mirrors are nice, and then there's silver paint in them, so they can't fall out, like a foil sticker would, so I kind of like that. And then look at the cool headlights. I mean, there's a thick piece of plastic you can see here, and then behind it is that chromed light bucket with the actual molded-in bumps for light bulbs. And then the orange up here is really nice. So it's a really cool headlight, much better than Choro Q's. And it's on par with really expensive uh, 164 scale models. The wiper blades are barely sticking up. It's kind of weird. They wouldn't make those stick out further. All right, but the printing is really nice. Tampo printed, no decals. We got some ribbing here in the grill. This is just flat, but painted black. And then on the side, we have the door. It's painted black. It's got some, you know, molded detail there. And then I'm gonna guess that's like a lock. So a little recess there. This is a highly smoked window, I think. I can tell when I look at the bottom. Can I see the pick through it? I can see I can see it smoked when I look at it from the bottom, but it's pretty much black from the from the outside. Okay, so the typical uh, truck wheels from Tiny Q. Nice lug nut details and all that. Unfortunately, this tire looks a little messed up. I'm wondering. I've never even bothered to try flipping these tires around, but I guess it can be done. Although you will lose the directionality of the tread, but that doesn't bother me problem is, which side's better? <laughs> They're both kind of bad. Hmm. Well, I guess the one good excuse is it's a construction truck, so it's going to have all sorts of wear and tear going through construction job sites. Alright, and then there's a steering function. It even tells you right, left, which way to twist this thing. There. Steering right. Or is it? This is in the right position, but it looks like it's, yeah, it is steering to the right. That makes sense. All right, 
but uh, you know I don't even bother with that thing I just hold both of the wheels together and move them that way yeah so it's screwed in the front and some sort of tab system in the back metal base here which to me seems like overkill I don't see a reason why it needs a metal base if they can make a cheaper product with a plastic one and then this is a spring motor a wind back pull back toy although this one is actually scraping the bed so that's not the best. Okay, so speaking of the bed, we have a lot more of the details, some rivet marks, some reinforcement bars, planking, or it just stamps corrugated steel. Nice tail lights printed on there, a yellow blank plate, some sort of Chinese text. This thing comes down. And then we have a barrier to prevent loads going into the front cabin. And then we have a lit up go to the right arrow. So that's kind of neat. Two lights on the top there, hazard warning lights. This doesn't fold, it's just a rigid, rigid thing. And then for some reason it's just a, you know, cover. I'm not sure why that would be there. I would assume in the real world maybe something like this would fold down here. But there's no sort of hinge that I can tell. But I did learn in the other construction truck review that this should come off, and it does. So I don't know why there's oil there, that was on the other one as well. That's the tab for it to go into. So hmm. I guess this is probably glued in. Maybe it's part of the same no, I think it's a separate piece, but it doesn't want to come loose. This thing can come down, I learned from uh, the other one. But uh, not this there's like two teeth if you want to remove this. Well I'm not sure why you would want to remove that. Alright, so then I gotta pop that back in. So let's see. Try to line it up with the tire to see if it, this thing will actually pull back further. Hold on here. It makes a weird clicking noise. I think that's within the motor itself and not actually. Maybe it's not. Well, I don't know. I, I feel like it. Oh, here's the test. Hold on. Nope. That's the sound of the motor. It's not actually rubbing the the bed. So strange. Oh, well. I don't really play with these things, so it doesn't bother me. But if you do play with these, be mindful. It might make a weird clicking noise. The only criticism I have here is uh, I wish the bed of this was deeper. You know, it's such a shallow bed. It really doesn't want to hold much. Granted, it's a cartoon car and all, but... I'd like to put in some stuff, you know. I'll probably put some sticky tack, poster board putty to hold those in. In fact, why don't I do that before I set this up to compare it to some other vehicles. Alright, I put some poster board putty for those barriers and then I had some 3D printed barriers to put in this display. Uh, here's the other construction truck that I got from Tiny Q, and this one came with a blue bucket but I added some other 3D printed stuff. And this is basically an N series, but it's newer. I think it's like a 2006, if I recall. But it looks like the back end bed is the exact same casting. So they just uh, changed the front end and a little bit of the top details there and the accessories it came with. Would have been nice if they molded a different back end. Oh well. Another service truck that I like from Tiny Q is this uh, World Championship tow truck. So that's a. Uh, a Hino, a Hino 300 if I recall. Let me read the bottom and see if it says anything. Yeah, it says the Hino 300 on the bottom. So that's a nice thing that TinyQ does. It actually tells you what the vehicle is. In fact, I didn't even pay attention to that. On the bottom of this, it's upside down, but it does say Isuzu N Series 93. So that's cool. You know, I, I hate when other brands don't tell you what the vehicle is you're holding in your hand is. It's really strange that they do that. Uh, another service vehicle from Churro Q. This is a Toyota something. Not sure what kind of truck. I can't make it out on the bottom. But it's a vacuum truck. Vacuums leaves I think. But I don't know what kind of Toyota it is. But that one's nice too. It's got license plates and funky wheels. Alright so Collecting super deformed service vehicles is apparently my thing now, and uh, I will continue to do so. Let's get these guys out of here. Alright, 
right well if you're into you know if you're new to super deformed vehicles i highly recommend tiny q uh, they're definitely better in detail than choro q's and they seem to cost less uh, choro q zeros are the only active line of choro q's but choro q zeros are expensive i mean compared to tiny q's you can actually go to the tiny q website just look it up tiny q and uh, you can actually order from them. If you order a bunch of them, you can actually get a decent amount of shipping savings there. I actually purchased this one locally, though. All right, well, thank you for watching this. And uh, eventually, I'll get some more tiny cues someday. Thanks. All right, bye.